of ignorance when I'm traveling to China I have a friend that instigates me into taking a draw, a, something that is not a good to China so I was caught in China and they took me to detention house so in their detention house I was taken to a court for because of the, the stuff they got from my hand. So they take me to their detention house, they prosecute me. After prosecution, they take me to court and they sentence me to 10 years imprisonment. Being in prison in China is a very difficult situation. In the sense that in the China prison, a lot of things is going on in China prison. People don't know the real China, except when you have an issue or problem in China that leads you to prison. There you will find out that Chinese, China prison is a hellfire. So what happened in Chinese prison to me and even to the people that are still there is horrible. In Beijing number two prison where I serve my sentence, we are up to 100 plus in number of Nigerians, I'm talking of Nigerian, not other nationality, but Nigerians, we are both 100 plus. Also, a country like uh, Pakistan, there are much also. Uh, other nationality, both uh, uh, other of our East African nations, Kenya, Uganda, majority number, Nigerian. Mostly the crime they have committed are fraud and the drug uh, crimes. You know, prison is a place that you will find out that what you do is not good. It's a place of a remorse. A lot of them have even changed to the extent that even their people back home, they could not believe the type of life they are living because they have found out that what they did is not right. What they did to the society, to their family is not right, fair. And they, so they have already changed from what they have done before to a new person now. Came back here with a, a lot of message. The message, there is a letter they write to the president. This is a letter to our president here. They bring back home at least to ask our president to intervene in their situation because what is going on in their life there is very, very ugly. What we re actually need from the president and the, the Ministry of Justice and the, the rest of them, both the senators, is to help us at least first the culture for, between us and Chinese people are different. The maltreatment we are getting, the race issue is also included. These people, most of them have served above 10, 15, 12 years they are due, at least, they are pleading to the president to repatriate. We are pleading just to repatriate because the situation there is getting worse every day. Before, they do have a reduction, limitation of sentence, but right now they have stopped it. So if these people prefer to come back to Nigeria and serve their sentence, at least Chinese people have this uh, benefit of parole giving of parole and they, 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 their people used to come to prison and they visit them almost every month twice in a, uh, every month but most of us doesn't have this opportunity and the, when you fight for this type of opportunity the officers in charge will start maltreating you very bad because they know that nobody will come for you so they, we are pleading at least for our government to come for the rescue to repatriate these people whom like so, so many of them that are there are the breadwinners of their family so many of them their wife have lived them even their kids are all alone it's a painful situation a lot of news they are hearing their cause so many of them have started suffering from high bp so many of them even mental they are tortured mentally the, their life is depreciating every day day by day so but if they could be able to repatriate to nigeria at least 
now their families, their loved ones, we pay visit to them. And they will give them a word of encouragement. And even Nigeria people will see that, yes, these people have find that they have already seen that what they did is not fair to the society. And they will find out that they have already picked the curry and they have read the road to be able to suit to the society. So that is what they are pleading to the uh, government and the, even the senators and the Minister of Justice and the, all the departments in Nigeria. We believe so much in Nigeria that they are capable of doing it. Other nations are doing it for their own people. They are repatriating their people. So Nigerian government, the president and the rest should help our people. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one, Adeli Roba Michele, off Rajira Saki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, or the First Village. For more information or reservation, please call us. Us on zero eight zero seven five seven eight seven one three five or zero eight zero nine 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 zero zero six zero one. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come first serve. Fossv Lovey Hotel, experience the home of comfort. They come. They come.